So YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And in this video, uh, if I take you back, uh, when Matt Rule was fired by the Panthers after a couple of rough years, and then this year is a really bad season so far, uh, but after he was fired from the Panthers, so many people, especially myself, were thinking, oh, it's about to be a fire sale going down. Everything must go. So most people were looking at guys like Brian Burns. They were looking at a DJ Moore. Uh, some were even looking at Christian McCaffrey and thinking, oh, oh, oh yeah, give me, give me, give me. I hope my team makes a move for that guy, for that guy, for that guy. Um, but reporters had come out and said like, oh, well, as far as Brian Burns and as far as DJ Moore, those guys are not up for sale, for trade. They're not moving off of those guys. Now, in my opinion, I think if they got the right offer, depending on what it is, they could. But it was said that they're not moving off of those guys. Now, uh, there was a report that came out a few days ago that with Christian McCaffrey, they're listening to offers for, for Christian McCaffrey. Now, what that means in football trade talks or whatnot, it means, hey, we as the Panthers, we got a decent offer. But we want to see if we can get something even better. So we're going to continue talking to this team that gave us a decent offer. But we want to put it out there publicly now that we're listening. So that, that's just what that means. They just want something better than what they've already gotten. what the, the offer that they've already received for Christian McCaffrey. Whatever it may be. But there was another guy. There was another player. Um, who most people just figured like, oh, oh yeah. He's going to be up uh, on up out of there for sure. And that would be Robbie Anderson. The wide receiver, uh, former Jets wide receiver, uh, and well, now former Panthers wide receiver. Um, but a lot of people figured that he would be going too. And then the report came out Sunday morning that confirmed it. The Panthers, they are fielding calls for Robbie Anderson. They are actively trying to trade Robbie Anderson. So when a team puts that out there, when they let that get out there, that they are actively trying to get rid of a player, oh yeah, it, it, it's all but certain that it's going down. It's only a matter of time at that point. So what happened? Well, during the game, I know they showed this clip of Robbie Anderson sitting by himself away from the other receivers and whatnot. But the big part about the game was when he got into the shouting match with the coach. Him and the coach going back and forth. Um, and then Robbie Anderson got kicked out. The coach kicked him out the game, sent him to the locker room. And that's when, like, with the report that came out earlier that day, you knew he was gone. But then when he got kicked out, oh, you knew, knew that he was gone. You, know, you knew that he was on up out of there. It was only a matter of time. But my thinking was that, yeah, the, the Panthers, they may get something in a trade for him, possibly. But uh, people know that he's going to get cut. So maybe they may not want to give up anything and just wait till he gets cut. Um, and so the, I figured the Panthers, if they don't receive anything significant for him in a trade, well, not even necessarily significant because at that point you knew he was going to be off the team. So it's just, uh, with the Panthers, they could be like, all right, we'll take what we can get. We'll, we'll take what somebody sends something. Hey, it, he's yours. Take him. Um, but I figured like, all right, if they don't receive anything significant via trade, then after the trade deadline, he'll just be cut, be a free agent, get to go wherever he wants to. So the Cardinals, the Cardinals. They swooped in and they got him. Now, uh, first and foremost, uh, when it comes to the money, um, the Cardinals are only on the hook for six hundred ninety thousand uh, of of bread that goes to Robbie Anderson. That's that's all they got to pay him. Let me read the report from Tom Pelissero. It said the Cardinals owe Robbie Anderson the remaining. 690,000 prorated portion of his base salary after the trade from the Panthers, who were looking to move Anderson as soon as Matt Rule was fired a week ago. So they they ain't got to even pay nothing. Like, that's, that's not even a million for them to acquire Robbie Anderson. So with, with that being said, I, I, I like the move for him. I, I, I love the move for him. Um, and with the Panthers, I, it hasn't come out as of this recording. I'm recording this at 1.34 p.m., it hasn't come out what the compensation is that they gave up for Robbie Anderson. If I had a guess, I'm saying nothing higher than a fifth. I, I'm saying I think it'll be like a six. It, oh, I think it could be like a, a 2023 fifth or 2023 six. That's what I'm going to say. I don't think it's going to be it's not going to be anything crazy. 
Uh, Because, again, the Cardinals were just, I mean, the Panthers were just trying to ship him off. Um, But now they've done that successfully. And and I love how the Cardinals, I love how the Cardinals move. Reason being, because they are super, like something goes down with them and they like, boom, all right, we're going to fix it. We're going to fix it. First and foremost, uh, Kyler Murray. They got Kyler Murray. They drafted him number one overall. Uh, and they obviously, they, they love Kyler Murray. Um, how do we know they love Kyler Murray? Well, because of what they got for him. Um, they, what they, and over the years, they got what, A.J. Green. They got Randall Moore. They had Christian. But the guy that they got, even got Andy Isabella, who's now Baltimore Raven. But anyway, um, the guy who they got, uh, DeAndre Hopkins. DeAndre Hopkins. And, and of course, he... I remember when that trade first went down, it was on draft night and I, th- I think 2020. And I was, I was so jealous because I thought I'd be one of my Ravens to get him because that was my favorite receiver in the league. And he's, he's one of them guys that's like that. He's nice. DeAndre Hopkins is nice. Good hands, good speed, good size, just great player. Um, but they got him. And they got him for like, for DeAndre Hopkins, they got him for cheap. They did have to redo his contract and whatnot, but hey, you get what you pay for. And you got somebody that has produced with a lot of bad quarterbacks. So imagine what he could do with somebody that's actually good. But anyway, um, they got DeAndre Hopkins. But then this past offseason, um, the Baltimore Ravens, back in 2019, they drafted uh, Marquise Brown, Hollywood Brown. They drafted him first. Um, and he, he was a first-round pick 2019 and did his thing with the Ravens. Um, he had pretty much been their number one receiver as long as he was there, but he was frustrated with the Ravens. Frustrated with their offense, frustrated with the way that he was used, um, and just frustrated with the, the quality uh, of how he was used with the Ravens. Uh, and trust me, a lot of us Ravens fans were frustrated with it as well. Um, so he wanted out. And the thing was, he had wanted out for two years. So him wanting to be traded, it was not something that just was a spur of the moment thing this past offseason. No, this has been something for years. Um, but the Cardinals, they were like, huh, we got Kyler Murray, who we love. We love Kyler Murray. So you know what? Let's, he, he's disgruntled. Let's go get Kyler Murray. It, oh, it just so happens to be Kyler Murray's best friend. Let's go get him and bring him, make our quarterback even happier. Let's make him even happier. Let's bring him to the team. So the Cardinals traded a first-round pick to get uh, Hollywood Brown. But um, it was a reason. Well, it was part of a reason. I think even if he wasn't going to miss the games, I think they still would have done it. But they were like, oh, man, DeAndre Hopkins, Hollywood Brown, nice little combo. And it sucks that we're never going to get to see that, at least this year. That That is really unfortunate because Hollywood Brown, um, in the game yesterday, he left – the game in a walking boot, and now it just came out that he's out for the year. Out for the rest of the year. I'm like, man, that's tough, man. That's tough. Um, but back when they traded for Hollywood Brown, it came out that DeAndre Hopkins, he was going to miss the first six games. So we're like, oh, okay, that makes the Hollywood Brown trade make even more sense. So Cardinals are a team that, hey, they lose something, they're like, all right, we got to replace quick. We got to replace quick, and also... It helps them for the future, too. So they lost DeAndre Hopkins for the first six games. They're like, all right, bring on Hollywood. So now Hollywood, they lost him for the rest of the season. All right, bring on Robbie Anderson. So he's a deep threat. He's from Florida, too, so he, he could feel that Hollywood that Hollywood void. But um, deep threat uh, and bigger frame, too. But now you get Robbie Anderson. But then you get you get DeAndre Hopkins back, too. Even if he doesn't play this week, because I know they're getting ready to play on, what, Thursday night? I'm sure he probably want to play. Um, But we'll see what the coaching staff ends up doing. They may not have no choice, but even though Saints Saints pretty beat up, I think they're playing the Saints on Thursday night. But either way, um, this is just, I just love this move for them, man. I love this move. I I love how they see a problem. They see an issue on their team. In this case, it was an injury. And they're like, all right, what do we need to do to fix it? Let's do what we got to do to fix it right away. They move quick to fix things. And they, because they just, they, they want their young QB to be in the best position possible. They want him to be in the best shape possible. They want him to be in the best situation uh, as possible. And, and, and I like that for them. I like how they move when it comes to that. I, I, I like how they move, especially uh, on offense. So we'll see how this thing ends up working out, but it should be fun. Uh, to watch with DeAndre Hopkins coming back on one side, and you got a, a motivated, extra motivated 
extra because I'm sure he was already motivated, but now he's extra motivated. Robbie Anderson opposite of DeAndre Hopkins. Sucks for my guy Hollywood, man. I, I that 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 was sad, man. That sucks to see you see cuz he was doing a good job over there with the Cardinals, man. His numbers were shooting through the roof and he was showing like, "Hey, I could I could do this thing." Even with some of the drops that he had, man. He was still over there doing his thing, man. But now his season is over. So that's unfortunate, man. Uh, but anyway, shout out to Robbie Anderson. Um he, I'm sure he's very relieved, a breath of fresh air for him. Um, and the Panthers, they move on, but they got to eat that salary. But anyway, Team Keep It Clean, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And just like Robbie Anderson is when it comes to him being with the Panthers, I'm out.